Welcome to History's Darkest Questions. Today's video is The Forbidden Island, The Dark Secret of North Sentinel, the Isolated Tribe. Imagine an island so isolated that its inhabitants have violently resisted all contact with the outside world for thousands of years. That place is North Sentinel Island, hidden in the Bay of Bengal, shrouded in mystery and bloodshed. Home to the Sentinelese, one of the last uncontacted tribes on Earth, this remote island has a dark, chilling history of deadly encounters with outsiders that will leave you questioning how such extreme isolation is even possible in the modern age. North Sentinel Island is part of the Andaman and Nicobar Islands, an Indian archipelago. The island itself is small, about the size of Manhattan, and covered in dense forest. It is surrounded by coral reefs that make it nearly impossible for larger boats to navigate near its shores. These natural defenses have effectively isolated the Sentinelese for centuries, if not millennia. What makes this isolation even more bewildering is the tribe's fierce hostility towards anyone who dares to approach. In 1867, an Indian merchant ship named the Nineveh wrecked on the island's reef. The survivors managed to make it to shore, only to be met by a group of Sentinelese warriors armed with arrows. Rescue efforts were harrowing. Those who survived described how the Sentinelese attacked relentlessly, forcing them to remain hidden until they were finally rescued. This tragic encounter is just one of many that highlight the tribe's aggressive defense of their isolation. Fast forward to 1974, when a documentary crew visited North Sentinel Island, accompanied by armed police for protection. They brought gifts in hopes of initiating friendly contact, but the journey quickly turned dangerous. As the crew approached the shore, an arrow narrowly missed the director, striking his leg instead. The footage captured the terror of the crew as they fled, showcasing the violent rejection of contact by the Sentinelese. In 2006, two fishermen mistakenly drifted too close to North Sentinel Island while illegally poaching crabs. They paid the ultimate price for their mistake. Their boat was found with their bodies viciously impaled by arrows, left as a grim warning to anyone else who might venture near. The Indian Coast Guard attempted to recover the bodies, but was driven back by a hail of arrows. This deadly encounter underscores the tribe's unwavering determination to remain isolated. The most recent and perhaps most shocking incident occurred in 2018, when American missionary John Allen Chow tried to contact the Sentinelese. Fluent in multiple tribal dialects and determined to convert the tribe to Christianity, Chow made several attempts to approach the island, each fraught with peril. Ignoring repeated warnings, on his final attempt, he was killed by the Sentinelese. His body was never recovered. Serving as a sobering reminder of the tribe's lethal insistence on isolation. Despite the danger, the Sentinelese continue to fascinate anthropologists, historians, and adventurers alike. Their way of life remains virtually unknown. They are believed to hunt and gather their food, living in huts made from trees and leaves. Their language is unlike any other, making communication nearly impossible for outsiders. This profound mystery fuels speculation about their customs, beliefs, and the secrets they guard so fiercely. The Indian government has placed a strict ban on any travel to North Sentinel Island, enforcing a three-mile exclusion zone to protect both the tribe and outsiders. The Sentinelese, who may have no immunity to common diseases, face existential threats from contact with the outside world. This measure also aims to prevent further violent encounters, recognizing that any interaction could be fatal to the isolated tribe. Yet, questions remain about the future of the Sentinelese. With the encroaching pressures of modern civilization, climate change, and illegal fishing, their isolation is under constant threat. How long can they remain cut off from the world? Will they ever willingly emerge, or will they continue to meet outsiders with fatal hostility? The answers lie buried in the dense forests of North Sentinel Island, where time seems to have stood still. In conclusion, North Sentinel Island and the Sentinelese people serve as a haunting example of extreme isolation in a connected world. Their story is a testament to their resilience and fierce independence, yet it is also a stark reminder 
of the potential consequences of contact. Whether they will ever choose to integrate with the modern world remains an enigma that may never be resolved.